97-year-old eats alone at Arby's every day until employees realize something's off. Over the last two and a half years, Arby's had a regular who would waltz in every day like clockwork. She had noticed him ever since she had worked as the manager there. Why was he always alone? She was curious as to why he came into the same restaurant every day and sat down to eat. What he told her had everyone getting out their checkbooks. Without fail, Doug Parker would always arrive for lunch. The 97-year-old veteran comes into the Arby's for the exact same meal at the same seat he always sits in. Christina liked to get to know her regulars, but she was also so curious as to why Doug did what he did every day. There are lots of people that don't exactly like the food that Arby's has to offer, but Doug, on the other hand, would order the same meal every day and wolf it down. The staff affectionately called him Mr. Doug and Christina, the manager at Arby's, said, he comes in with a walker. As soon as we see him come to the doors, we try to grab the doors for him. It was lunchtime and Doug came in like he always did, but today Christina had to know why he was always by himself. But Doug wouldn't tell her this time around. It would take more than that to get him to open up about his private life. They still wanted the answer. Rumors were going around amongst the staff at Arby's as to why Doug ordered the same food from them. Everyone needed to know why he did it. He's gone through a lot being a veteran and living in a retirement home, and he doesn't have family, Christina said. But why does he order the same food every day? Who might be curious as to what Doug orders every day? It's a beef slider with Swiss cheese and a Coca-Cola. Hold the ice. Christina finally mustered up the courage to ask, Hey, Mr. Doug, we just want to know what keeps you coming back to this Arby's location. He looked at her and simply said, This is the only place I can get a sandwich that doesn't hurt my stomach. Christina had no idea that Doug had been suffering from health issues and came to their establishment because it was the only place he could eat without being in agony. At the Chandler Arby's, they consider their regulars family, especially Doug. When they heard about Doug's story, it didn't stay in the Arby's. Another staff member at Arby's, Travis Coy, said, He's expressed to us multiple times that we're like his family. And we feel that ourselves, so we try to make him feel welcome in any way possible. But one day something made it onto Doug's sandwich that shouldn't have. Ethel Fishman, a regular who knew Mr. Doug, had a hunch about one of the young waiters working at Arby's. But one afternoon, what she saw him slipping into Mr. Doug's usual order left her completely dumbstruck. Although her view was partially obscured, she saw the waiter hurriedly slip something red into the Arby's paper bag. Although Ethel couldn't see his face, she saw the waiter crack a smile as Mr. Doug checked his order. Mr. Doug began to eat his roast beef sandwich while the waiter hovered around the table. Mr. Doug seemed confused, but he hadn't realized that reporters had crowded into the establishment. He looked inside the bag his order had come in to check that the waiter hadn't missed anything and noticed the piece of red card rattling around in the bottom. The staff had decided to pool their spare cash and slipped a dollar two hundred Arby's gift card into Mr. Doug's order so he could save the little money he had. But when the Arby's head office heard what the kind-hearted people of Chandler had done for Mr. Doug, they got in touch for a serious discussion with manager Christina about the unorthodox gesture. We try to go above and beyond for him because he needs the extra love, Christina said of the way staff at that particular restaurant had cared for Mr. Doug. Grateful for Mr. Doug's service during the war, Arby's decided that the veteran would never pay for a roast beef slider or Coca-Cola ever again. The restaurant chain gave Mr. Doug a lifetime's worth of free lunches and surprised him with the news when he came in for his regular meal. And his reaction was priceless. He was shocked, Christina said. He was absolutely speechless. Christina and Travis personally told Mr. Doug that he wouldn't have to worry about finding the money for his lunch anymore. But when journalists caught up with Mr. Doug, it turned out he did have some kind things to say about the people looking out for him. Mr. Doug said the restaurant staff always do their best to keep his table free for him, even though he's quite happy eating at the next table over. Anything I need, they give it to me, Mr. Doug said of the hospitality at Arby's, before adding his review of their food. It's just so satisfying. But the VIP customer gets much more than free food. Knowing that he always orders the same thing, staff have Mr. Doug's meal ready and waiting for him when he arrives. 
Everyone that works there knows that when his gift card runs out, Mr. Doug is still entitled to food on the house, even if he isn't able to come into the restaurant personally to eat it. Employees have even given Mr. Doug their personal phone numbers, so if he's feeling unwell, he can call them directly and someone will deliver his favorite meal right to his door. And now, Mr. Doug's story has spread throughout the community, prompting others to show their gratitude to the veteran and offer him even more free services.